hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how basically you can build out a nearby places finder kind of an application using google places api so i have deployed this website on my website webdenjadeveloper.com i have given this link in the description of this video so this is basically the address of this application you can try out this application so here basically there are two functionalities this is a autocomplete option which is there here you can enter your location pinpoint location as you enter the location you select the place type which is the school here you will see that basically it will tell you the places that you can visit here of nearby places in your area here you will see that it will show you all the schools which are there 20 schools are returned to you alongside with the images and the names you can change this to any places type here you will see airport as well let's suppose if i choose here store you will now see all the stores will be there you can also cross verify if you search for this location if you search for this go to google it is pinpointed results coming from the places api and you will see that it is there inside this uh, location so basically it's a very fun fast app here very utility kind of application so if you are looking for a nearby places app you can go to this application just type the address and select the place type you can also select police station you will see that and now if you select parks you will see that basically so it's a very utility kind of an application so i think i have developed this application and deployed this on my website web ninja developers so i will be showing you step by step how to basically build this application from scratch in javascript inside the browser so that you can also deploy this application inside the browser all the step by step instruction is given in the description of the video so i have written a complete blog post here you will see all these images that you are seeing right here is coming from the google places api that is hosted on google and we are making use of this so basically this is the blog post i have written here step by step instruction is given inside this so it is also given in the description of the video so let's start building it you can even try out any location in the world it is not restricted to any country here you can try out let's suppose different countries out there you will see that so you can see that so it is not limited to a particular country or location this is basically a autocomplete search bar so here we are converting the addresses to geo location coordinates so that we can view it you will see that it works with any kind of location so it's a very tremendous app you should definitely try out and now we will start looking at how we, we can build out this application so first of all you need to go to google cloud console and uh, you need to enable the api keys and then go to credentials and get your own api key so don't copy my api key because i have restricted this api key so it only works on my own website so if you try to copy my api key this api key will not work so simply click on this option create credentials and create your own api key and that's all that you need to do and after that you also need to go to library section and enable these apis which first one we are using is the places api you need to enable this and also we need to enable the maps javascript api so these two apis are necessary for this application after this you just need a single index.html file which is there and here we are using some bootstrap also for the styling purpose so if you just go to the blog post you just need to copy paste the only the css part of the bootstrap here so just after the title you can paste it here this is a bootstrap so after this guys basically we will have a container tag here inside the body so we have the container class of bootstrap and then we have two break tags after this we will have a simple heading which will appear in the center position so we will attach a text center class of bootstrap so here we will say that nearby places finder so after this guys basically we will have a simple div for setting up the map that's all this is will be an empty div out there and basically we will have a simple form group class and here we will be having a simple autocomplete 
field where the user can enter his or her location. So this will be required for basically entering the location. So here this will be input type of text and here the user can enter his or her location. So basically what we will do here. So we will be giving a class to it of form control. This is bootstrap class and we will give giving the id to it of autocomplete and uh, placeholder we will simply say enter location enter a location that's all so this is your uh, simple input field guys and after this we just need to give uh, a break tag and after this we will have basically a select field where you can enter or select basically this will be a, sing a single select field here of place type so here you can select any place type mall park or any sort of thing if you want to search the nearby places so basically we have this select field so this is very long select field here it can covers all the options out there which you can have for the places out there let me paste it so you will see train station travel agency university you can see that this API supports all these options so I have just uh, ready-made copy pasted all the these options out there main thing to notice is that we have given this uh, an ID of type so we will capture the value whichever value the user select here so that's all this is all for the HTML and after this uh, we will have two break tags and after this we will display the information inside a table like structure guys inside uh, we will display the name and the picture of the place so we will give these bootstrap classes table striped that's all and we will be giving an id to it of places that's all so that's completes the html for this application if you open this live server you will see this is basically the minimalistic uh, html required for this application here at enter location select this one that's all and after this guys we just need to attach basically our script tag which is necessary for this application this is uh, basically you need to attach it first here or we can attach it later on as well so just put a script tag here and the script source i have given this link in the description so don't worry about it basically this is covering the places api we have including the cdn here so here you need to copy paste your own api key so let me generate a new api key for this so let me go to cloud console and generate a brand new api key go to let's i will go to the credentials options and click on this option create api key so it will create my brand new api key here so don't copy this api key i will delete this api key after this video so just copy this here so now this is not restricted you can use this api key anywhere so that will work here so here i will just simply paste it here that's all so this api key is pasted here and after this guys we just need to write the custom javascript code here so inside this cdn guys you will see that inside the callback property we have also have a callback property so inside this we are executing this function here so whenever this uh, api is loaded we need to execute this function which is called as init map so right here we will describe this function here so inside this function what will happen function init map So here we will simply have the autocomplete field here guys so we can initialize the autocomplete field using the autocomplete method here and inside this we can pass the reference here guys so we can capture the reference of the input field by document.get element by id so we have given the autocomplete field an id of autocomplete so we are just passing this and the second option we need to pass here guys we need to attach the option here which is called as geocoding so we will be attaching an option here which is types option so inside curly brackets you will say types so here you will simply say geocode you 
inside your square brackets you will simply say geocode that's all so after this guys basically we just need to add a listener to this auto complete field here so we can use this uh, add listener method and whenever the place is changed so this is basically a built-in event so whenever the place is changed this we will execute this custom function which is search nearby places so what will happen if you now open this here so as you can see here basically it is uh, showing me this error here Uh, Google Maps JavaScript API error expired key map error so it is saying that uh, search nearby places is not defined so we need to define this function guys first of all that's why it is creating a problem so we need to define this method also which is uh, search nearby places So inside this guys what we need to say we need to select first of all the places inside our table we need to clear out the HTML which is like this after this we need to get the places details as I entered the location we will get a lot of suggestions out there so now to get those suggestions we will simply first of all get the place here get place and we will console log it so as you see let me so it is saying once again so we are giving this error which is expired key error this API key included in the script element that loads the API has expired or is not recognized by the system. You may re receive this error after creating a new API key. If you try to use the key before it is recognized by the system, wait a few minutes and try again. Okay, sometimes uh, whenever you create a new API key, sometimes it may take some time before a Google will, will recognize this API key. So that's why. So let me inc include a key which is not new. Let me, you can see already I have created three keys out there. Let me include this one. Let me copy this, paste it here. so i think it's one one day old this key so i think this should uh, you can see that now these suggestions are coming powered by google so basically all these address suggestions are coming if i now select a particular place out there dubai if i select here if i go to inspect element you will now see an object will be there so this object contains various properties out there which is address components formatted address geometry html attributes we also have the photographs 10 photographs are there 0 1 2 3 you will see that place ID is also there so all this information we need to display inside this table like structure so this is really easy so now we have got the information so now in order to display this information what we need to do we need to here so here what we need to do basically we need to get the nearby places for doing that first of all we need to plot this on a real map so what we can do is that we can plot this on a real map using the new google maps map method and we can capture the document element by id map we can pass the geometry location and zoom level is 15 so this will not be physically be visible on the screen we are just storing it in the memory and then basically we have covered this in the last video as well where I did a video on Google Places API. I will highly recommend that you watch that video. We have repeated the same process. So we are basically calling the Google Places API here, passing the map here. So we are just executing this function which is nearby search which is available inside Google Places API. So this takes three options here. First is the location here. Second is the radius property which is 500 meters. 
so this is in meters not kilometers you can change this value to 5000 meters or 5000 is pretty good number and inside this radius we need to search the places which are nearby and after this we just need to select the type value so whichever place type the user has selected stadium storage store subway station supermarket so after this this callback function will execute here so which will now contain all the results out there so inside let me define this callback function here so inside this callback function guys we have already discussed it in the last video where we basically plotted the, all this information on the map but now we are displaying it in the table so inside this callback once again we are calling iterating through all the results which are there results.length basically signifies how many places are returned to us if i basically say here open this application if i entered a location here and you will see inside if the console 20 results will be returned to us so 20 times we will be executing this function which is create marker so you will see that so now we need to execute this method which is create marker so basically here we are passing the actual place that we need to get the information so this is basically the method here which we have uh, uniquely written here so inside this method basically we are capturing the place here we're saving it as an, as an argument and then basically we are creating a table which is uh, document element by id places then we are inserting a row inserting a cell here and we are capturing the name of the place and then we have a simple if condition if the photos property are present then only show it the real photograph if they are not present show a placeholder photograph like this for all the places photographs may not be present so we need to have this if condition just to have to have so now if you see basically if i write the location you will see that now for the locations where the photographs are not present then we are showing this simple placeholder photograph just for the user's sake and if the photographs are present we are just displaying it 150 300 width 300 you can also change it to 500 as well just changing it may look like pretty good let me now write you can see that so this looks uh, pretty large here but uh, it totally depends upon you how much width and size you want you can open it inside a new tab just to see larger here so you can just put any location and then select any page type and one thing we are missing we if i change this to anything else we also need to update this so we can simply add a simple line here so we need to basically call bind a simple event here which is uh, type on change so whenever the value is changed we will need to execute this function which is search nearby places that's all so whenever now this value has been changed So let's suppose if I change this value to Parag, you will see this value will update. Let's suppose if I say mosque, you will see that. So this was the application guys, you can check out the demo. All the links is given in the description of the video. All the source code, the live demo also. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.